Hi guys, this is just a quick tutorial on selections in Photoshop and how to create the split face. So first thing, we're going to create a new document. And the size we want is roughly the size of a regular sheet of paper. So we're going to do 8 inches by 10 inches at 300 resolution. In order to do the split face, we need two photos. So what we're going to do is go to Google, or whatever search engine you want to use, and I'm going to type in celebrity headshots because every celebrity has a headshot. We go to images, we want to make sure that we only have high resolution images. So Google search tools are right here and Yahoo has them as well. But you want to search by size and instead of any size we're going to say larger than two megapixels so we get resolution that's in the thousands. Alright, so we get a bunch of celebrities in here. Uh, we want two that kind of look like they're facing the same way. This guy looks pretty happy. Now, Google's doing this new thing where it kind of shows you a preview. We want to make sure we get the full original image. There it is. I'm going to try to drag that into Photoshop. There he is. I'm just going to kind of center him out. Eight shots are 8 by 10, so I kind of knew that we were going to get this size. Okay, so we've got our first picture. Let's go back to Google and get our second photo. And I'm going to choose one that's distinctly different because the idea here is we're just looking to see how you do with selections. Um, so this is a lady and she also has hair. Once again, we want to do the original image. So I'm going to move, pull her into Photoshop. Now we'll notice that this image is significantly smaller and we needed to match the other gentleman's head. So what I'm going to do is hit Command T so that I can resize this image. But the other thing that's going to help me is that if I can see through to try to match up their eyes and their chin. So I'm going to take the opacity down to about 50. And that way I can start to enlarge the second picture. And I'm looking to match up their jawline and their eyes. Obviously they're not going to match perfectly, but I want to try to get as close as possible. If you need to zoom out a little bit, you can use Command minus so that you can see all of your handles. Then, and the idea is just to try to get as close as possible. And I'm going to bring her opacity back up to 100%. Now, I want to use the left side of the gentleman's face and the right side of hers. So I'm going to use the square selection tool or rectangular marquee and I'm just going to split right down her nose. Now what I don't want is a hard edge line. So depending on your photo, you may have to go to Select, Modify, Feather. And the higher resolution the photo is, the more feathering you have to do, the lower resolution it is, the less you have to do. I'm going to just do an experiment with 100 pixels and then hit Delete. What you're going to see here is now Instead of a hard edge fade, there's a soft fade into the other face. Now layer one, this gentleman is slightly tilted, so I'm going to hit Command T and rotate him so that he's almost at the same angle. And then I just kind of need to adjust their faces. Remember, you have to hit Enter to match up. A little bit. Now obviously we could go a little bit further because their mouse doesn't match up but for checking our selections that's as far as I want to go. So next step is I'm going to use the crop tool and I want to crop out the white parts of the picture. I'm going to hit enter and then all you have to do is do file, save for web. We want to make sure that this is a PNG 24. Down here it looks like we're still at like 2400 pixels by 2600 pixels which for Tumblr might be a little bit big, so I'm going to drop the percent of this load to maybe 25% just so we can have a smaller version to save to the web. 